The stride is gigantic. The attacker rode Masbeth down, turned his horse, came back, came back to clean the head. co-star of the prom queen mutilator with Dick Beebe. You saw that? He was mine. He was mine. No, Cindy, you're sick. Cindy, you need help. No, Cindy. <laughs> no! to take you in. Did you hear? Did you hear me? You speak English, don't you? By the authority granted me by the state of Texas, I'm hereby arresting you. You all right there, little brother? Fine. Just taking this man into custody. Uh-huh. It's just a sleepover date, Rod. You see his face? You see his face? So I heard you freaked out in English class today. Yeah, I guess I did. Woo! You bastard. What'd I do? I just asked you to do one thing. Why would anybody want to kill me? Then you won't mind cold cocking this guy when I bring him out. What? How can you listen to television and hear your records at the same time? Miss Nude America's gonna be on tonight. Well, how can you hear what she's going to say? Who cares what she says? With this candle, I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. like a great black 
pit and the vermin of the world inhabit it and its morals aren't worth what a pig could spit and it goes by the name of London At the top of the hole sit a privileged few making mock of the vermin in the lower zoo turning beauty into filth and greed I too have sailed the world and seen its wonders For the cruelty of men is as wondrous as Peru But there's no place like London You, sir, how about a shame? Come and visit your good friend, Sweeney. You, sir, too, sir, welcome to the grave. I will have vengeance. I will have salvation. Who, sir? You, sir? No one's in the chair. Come on, come on. Sweeney's waiting. I want you, bleeders. You, sir, Gentlemen, I don't be shy. Be right back, 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 was there no communication in this car? Had we deteriorated to the level of dumb beasts? I want you to understand that this man at the wheel is my attorney. He's not just some dingbat I found on the strip. He's a foreigner. I think he's probably Samoan. It doesn't matter, though, does it? Are you prejudiced? Hell no. <laughs> I didn't think so. Because in spite of his race, this man is extremely valuable to me. Oh, shit. I forgot about the beer. You want some? Oh. How about some ether? What? Never mind. Oh, the head just did. Hello. What is he doing? I don't know. accused of possession of 660 pounds of marijuana with intent to distribute. How do you plead? Your Honor, I'd like to say a few words to the court, if I may. Well, you're gonna have to stop slouching and stand up to address this court, sir. All right. Well, in all honesty, I don't feel that what I've done is a crime. And I think it's illogical and irresponsible for you to sentence me to prison. Because when you think about it, what did I really do? I crossed an imaginary line with a bunch of plans. I mean, you say I'm an outlaw, you say I'm a thief, but where's the Christmas dinner for the people on relief? Huh? You say you're looking for someone who's never weak but always strong to gather flowers constantly, whether you're right or wrong. Someone to work with each and every door, but it ain't me, babe, huh? Busted. Set up by the FBI and the DEA. That didn't bother me. Set up by Kevin Dooley and Derek Farreel to save their own asses. That didn't bother me. Sentenced to 60 years at Otisville. That didn't bother me. I'd broken a promise. 
everything I love in my life goes away. We're about to embark on quite a journey. Cops! We don't have a permit. Run! I have never told anyone what I'm about to tell you. But I really want this job. I like to dress in women's clothing. <laughs> from me. I'm Peg Boggs. I'm your local Avon representative and I'm as harmless as cherry punch. Oh my. I can see that I've disturbed you. How stupid of me. I I'll just be going now. Don't go. 